Hello and good morning. I'm Tom Reese and welcome to Tom Talks and today we are going to be talking to Dominic Strebens about his experience in the media editing industry. How are you Dom? I'm very well. Lovely to be here. Thank you. So, what is your favourite type of genre to edit? Well, I only really edit one type of genre which is drama. Um, so it's like what you would consider when you go to the cinema. Yeah. So I call myself a film and TV editor um, because I used to cut stuff that was shot on film, um, even though it's now all transferred and cut on a computer. So yeah. I don't get, I don't actually get to cut stuff like this, like studio multicam kind of things or lifestyle shows or things, you know, entertainment like the X Factor or reality. So I, um, I only cut drama. So that's that's. That's the kind of genre and the favourite thing that I like to do. And would you say you prefer working on um, fictional? Yeah, um, that's a good question. Well, again, I've done a few docu. I did a few. I've done a few docu dramas, but mainly it's mainly always it's mainly always kind of fiction because it because it's a made up story. It can be based on based on something. Yeah. It's an adapt, adapted from a book or something like that. So it's normally an original story, but yeah, on the whole, it will always be fiction. Yeah. And um, what advice would you give to someone who wants to get into the media editing industry? Um, well, just to just to make, just to do, just just to cut stuff. There's there's kind of um, the stuff you can do today, like on your phone, on your home computer. There's no reason why you can't go out and just have an idea, shoot something, shoot something with your mates on your phone. We all know how easy that is to down to download on a computer. Every every computer package now has editing software on it. Yeah. Um, I remember when my kids were really little and they'd had, they had an iPad and some of the stuff they used to make was, was absolutely fantastic. I mean, it was better than I could do. They, they used to make these horror trailers and stuff like that and it was really, really fantastic. And it was encouraging because it's so immediate. Yeah. You know, when things were shot on film, I had to go to the lab, had to be processed, had to get it back. So I think the immediacy now is really encouraging. So just, just go out and make and before yeah. you know it, You've got you you know you'll have a back catalogue of stuff that you can use if you want to then go to college or go to film school. So just yeah, just 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 practice and make mis you know don't be don't be afraid of making mistakes. Yeah, just sort of build a portfolio. Yeah, build a portfolio and just make just make stuff. There's no really there's no excuse not to in this in this yeah. day and age. You know, and ironically, the things that everyone spends their most time on is also thing they can just flip and make something with. So yeah. Yeah. Um, did you have a passion for media and filmmaking when you were growing up as a child? Um, I certainly had a passion. Um, my biggest passion, funny enough, um, was more... It, it was creative, so I studied, I studied stills, photography and art, um, but I was mainly, I was really into music growing up, and I, I sort of still am. Um, yeah. And so I used to think in terms of, do I say, it, ever a career, I used to think it'd be lovely to put music to images, and wonderfully, that's what I've ended up. I didn't know there was a career that could be done with that, but it, it all comes under the umbrella of editing. Yeah. Um, when you make stuff, you also have to choose music for it. You end up working with composers. You choose source music. So that that is kind of almost like a dream come true. And I love I love that stage of when you get to put music on onto 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 the cut stuff. But yeah. yeah. So I had I had an overall. I wanted to do something creative. Um, as to the word media and stuff, it wasn't. I used to think when I was younger, like media was more like being a journalist or, yeah. or, or kind of a writer or something like so that. You didn't know, but you just I didn't. To I do didn't know. Creative. I didn't know. I wanted to do something creative. Yeah. I mean, I might have been, you know, like a, you know, painting walls or gardening or something like that. I've always had to make things, so it kind of stemmed from that, really. Yeah. Um, so many people in here may want to get into the editing industry. Yeah. What advice could you offer them to uh, help them? Well, I would say um, most uh, the of, uh, well, the normal way in is to kind of become become what sounds a runner, um, so you can so you can study it, um, but then you really have to kind of apply apply that. So it's about gaining experience, work experience, relevant experience, and if you choose the field that you want to go into, it might be studio studio kind of filming like this, yeah, um, or it might be drama when you might work on set or indeed a runner at a facility. So once you do that, you're dealing with people like myself that are doing it every day. And if you, if you tell, tell them I'm really interested in doing this, then they might need a trainee. Then from a trainee, you become an assistant. So it's getting, it's getting that important kind of first, 
sort of foot in the door really but yeah. studying it is obviously the, the best route to go my assistants at the moment are really well equipped they they know so much and yeah. they have to and they have to know a lot more than i did when i was when i was when i was doing it so technically a lot of software packages and stuff they, they, they already know before they've even before they've even started yeah it's just building the experience really, building the experience it? definitely yeah. yeah well um that's all we have time for but thank you for your time oh it's been a pleasure thank you for having me thank you